A blessed morning, one and all. This is your apostle, Elijah Peter Chambers. Once more, with a pounded word. Hallelujah. A harsh one, and also an intriguing one. And our topic this morning, my story, put behind bars. Hallelujah. For speaking, thus say the Lord. And our theme, porn. Hallelujah. To win. Glory be to God. Been winning on a constant and perpetual basis. Regardless of the circumstances. Regardless of the situation in which we stand. Regardless of those. Hallelujah. Who have brought an allegation and have said many lies. God is still breaking the bonds of wickedness. And giving the sons and daughters victory, miracles, signs and wonders and breakthrough. And the people of God must understand that, you know, you, you're wondering why I'm smiling. Hallelujah. Young, fresh and green. Hallelujah. God is just giving me divine grace regardless of the circumstances. And our scripture text this morning comes from Leviticus chapter 18. And we read from verse um, 20, it says, Moreover, thou shalt not lie cornerly with thy neighbor's wife, to defile thyself with her. Thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Moloch. Neither thou shalt profane the name of thy God. I am the, the Lord. Thou shalt not lie with, with, with mankind as with a womankind. It is abomination. In other words, the scripture is saying that you should not lie with the same sex. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast of, of, of to defile thyself therewith. Neither there shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. It is confusion. Hallelujah. Defile not thyself in anything, any of these things. For in all these nations, all these nations are defiled which I cast out before thee. I want to speak to the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And um, you said some stuff that the churches, you're telling a lie on the churches. The cult churches that are in Jamaica, the cult churches, hallelujah, that are in Jamaica, they are the ones who are in agreement with the fishery, the fishery nature. Glory be to God. And, and, and I'm coding and I'm using Jamaica language because I want the message to get out. In the revival church, there are a lot of homosexuals. In the, the large church, there are a lot of homosexuals. There, there are a lot of fishes. In the dealer ranch, the buffer men, there are a lot of fishes in these churches. These are the churches that accommodates. The true church does not in a, are not in agreement with the fishery mentality, with the fishery nature. The Bible says here in the great book, Leviticus chapter 18, verses 21, and thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through. Let me back up a little. Where is, where is it? 22. Thou shalt not lie with, with mankind as with a woman kind. Hallelujah. It is abomination. When we look at the book of Romans chapter 1, we turn a little around Romans chapter 1. It says here, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. And unrighteousness of men who all the truth in unrighteous righteousness because that that which be known unto God is manifest in them for God that showed it unto them hallelujah verse 22 says professing themselves to be wise but they become fools and change the glory unto the uncorruptible God into into an image made like to to the corrupt ever man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Therefore God also gave them up 
to the uncleanness through the lust of their own heart, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And hear this, who change the truth of God into a lie, who worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forevermore. For this cause, God gave them up to their vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman. Hallelujah. I love my wife so much. And I love the feminine body. But I don't know what is wrong with these fish. Why you want to go into a territory of feces? Why you want to go into the cesspool of a man? Listen, the Bible declares that a man should not lie with another man. Or a woman should not lie with another woman. It is abominable. Let me read, let me read, let me read. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, men with men work in that which is unseemly. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their own error, which was me. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to their reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. I want the Prime Minister of Jamaica to understand. The Jamaica people now go accept. I don't care how loyal you want to be to the investors. Listen, you took the money. You took the blood money. Why do you think America is putting you under great pressure? You're a part of the organization. And I told you, you're a part of the one world order. So all you, you're playing dandy shandy around the fishery mentality, the fishery nature. Listen, the people of Jamaica is going to find you out. And listen, we're not, you are going to say that we're living in modern, modern time and that we ought to be tolerant. Listen, we're not going to be tolerant with this nature because the Bible said that a man should not lie with another woman, uh, 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 with another man. The Bible said he created, hallelujah, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, uh, uh, Eve of Pomlet. It is abominable in the sight of God. Hallelujah. And listen, all the Prime Minister of Jamaica behaving and pretending. I tell you, I got the vision. The people of Jamaica are going to turn against you. Because listen, if you turn against these foreigners and the money, listen, you have been taking a lot of billions of dollars from them. And all these investors, the IMF, and all of these people that you take money, what do you expect from them? They're going to dictate to you. But because of greed and because of money, you are Mr. Nigel. And you love money so much that you, you, you make decisions not knowing the destruction ahead of you. Hallelujah. So America has to put you under pressure. Under pressure. And they have the legal rights. They have the legal right to put you under pressure because you took the blood money. You took the money from them. And all you're running up and down, giving people donkey, giving people houses, trying to, to exhibit charity because you want to fix your mess. Dog, eat your supper. Judgment is at hand. Listen, the, the, the fish with spirit cannot come into Jamaica and I'm speaking to the president of America under the power and the unction of the Holy Ghost it is abominable in the sight of God and God is gonna take down America listen America will go down hallelujah because they are trying everything in their power to control and to manipulate hallelujah countries from all over the world Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want the people of God to understand that we're living in a very, in a dangerous time under the power of the evil territory. And the Bible said that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. The devil is a liar from the pit of hell. The Bible declares that every knee must bow, every tongue will confess 
confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And every one of you saying that he's doing a good job. Good job, what? And that is the best prime minister. That's a lie from the pit of hell. You have sold out our beaches. You have run my card. The nature of the, the citizens of the land. You take it where? Because you sell it to, praise God Almighty, to your foreign investors. And now you want to bring in the fishery spirit. But you want to be tolerant. And that we're living in a time of the church. My God is in agreement. That's a lie. It's a false church that you are connected to. The grandmasters, the largest, the dealerants, the buffermen, the, 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 the revivalists, the revival order. Oh, the fishing side of the earth. I don't know how them find water and if you swim. But the Bible said that he created a man and a woman. You know, supposed to climb up Panama Park. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Your foul spirit. God made a woman. God gave us a woman. My God for sexual pleasure. My God, how can I resist? My God, the beauty and the nature of my wife. I'm gone wrong. A cesspool on a nasty wretch. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus.